Hey guys, it's Van again. We are playing some more Dog Island. Now, for some reason, our little buddy Patasi is sick, and I'm worried about what's going on. He's also falling asleep on the screen because I waited for things to um, export. Um, anywho, let's go check things out. Because I'm curious about our little buddy. I, I don't want him to die. Hi there, how are you doing today? Explain the situation. What? The Onks? Huh, you must be dreaming. You know, Alex likes such tales. You should talk to him. He'll be happy to help you. I'm still doing some research about the white flower. I need more time on this. He denied my little Ankh's help. He denied helping my little Ankh friend. He needs help and you're just gonna be like, eh, Ankh's are mythical. He's totally not wanting your paw. Now I gotta find a gal named fucking Alex. Gotta find a dog named Alex. Dog named Alex. Where the hell is Alex? Patricia, Hans, Leslie, Jeremy. Who is this one? The Victory Gang Hideout? That's a little weird to actually mark your territory like that. Oh, hey, it's Alex! He's under a book! What's up, Alex? Greetings, sir. What can I do for you? I'm a girl. Also, my stomach it hurts. Please, you gotta do something. Can I help you? I'm telling you, I have a stomach ache. I can't help you if you remain quiet like this. Well, oh, I get it. There are two kinds of dogs in this world. One kind can see Anxi and the other kind can't. He can't see me. Majesty, tell him for me, please, about my stomach. No. You explain the situation. What? An Ankh? Really? That's right, really. You mean here? Yep, right here. Hmm, unfortunately I can't see it. Hey! I've read about the Onks in the past, but I thought that was just a tale, you know, a myth. Anyways, this Onk here has a stomach ache, huh? Please, yeah, hell, you just gotta. But I can't see him. I'm sorry, uh, but I, or shall I say, we who can't see him have no chance of curing him. I'm very sorry, I couldn't be of much help. Oh man, come on, he's gotta be away. Poor Ankh. Hey, here's an idea. <sighs> he's telling you Obama. Okay, there's a dog named Obaba, who might be able to help you. She lives on this island, she's not the normal kind of doctor, though. She's, oh, shall I say, a bit traditional. She's a healer. We all used to go to her when we were sick, and she cured us with her charms and herbs. Whenever strange things happened, we'd all used to go to her for advice. That was a long time ago, though. Now she might be able to cure an Ankh's illness. But there is something you should know. It's just a rumor, though. They say her treatment once made a patient worse. Fatally worse. But then again, you don't have any other choices for doctors to go to. Obapa's house is in the Treely Woods. You know that place you kind of just went into to steal stuff? Yeah, it's right there. The road behind the cafe is just a shortcut to the Treely Woods. Once you get there, um, turn right and then keep going straight until the road ends. You'll see a wooden arch there. Obama's house is just beyond that arch. So you're saying if I went through, um, that, that lake thing, I would be able to get through here? What? Since when? What the hell, Tom? We finally finished building the road. Uh, just, just go through here to get you a treat. Fuck chihuahuas. Fucking chihuahuas. You can't ever trust a chihuahua, man. Also, what? Eve? Yes, the construction is finally finished. You can take this shortcut to get to Pupsville. Oh. That's amazing. That's actually way better. Okay, so now... Yeah, cool. This worked out way better. Hey chickens, what's up? 
just go into a Baba's house, you know. Whatever. No big deal. Sup, a Baba the witch dog? That's a pug. That's a goddamn pug. And who might you be? You explain the situation. I introduce myself and all that shit. Hmm, an unk. Must be my lucky day. Well, you can see me? I can hear you. I can't see you, though. But I can somewhat sense that you're there. When I was little, I was told old stories all the time about unks being spotted by someone. Lady, if you can see me. Oh, the pain. Oh, you're sick, aren't you? Well, now. Let me sense your energy. Hmm. Ha! Hmm. I see. This is certainly bad. There's a lot of negative energy piled up around your stomach. In great pain, aren't you? It's killing me! Please do something! Well, we need, we need to get the negative energy to flow out of your system. You know, just take a shit! Just take a shit! To do that, I'll need some ashes from the fireplace. Say, you have a fireplace at home, right? You should be able to get some ashes from the fireplace there. Yes, it should smell like this. Did you just shove my face into your fireplace to teach me the smell of ashes? I mean... It just sounds like it's painful. Okay, if you can bring me the ashes, I can cure this ankh. What are you using ashes for? Like, what kind of treatment requires ashes? That's just my question. Alright. I'm just playing fetch. Is there a way for me to run before? That to have been a way for me to run before. Alright. Let's get some ashes. I apparently had this treasure box the entire time. Time for now, but this shit's weird. Anywho, damn, Baba, let's see what you got. You handed her the ashes from the fireplace. Hmm, I see you brought the ashes from the fireplace, as I told you. I'll hurry and make me some medicine. Now, hold on, I didn't say I was going to make medicine with this. This will let me visibly see the onk. Just rub this ash on my eye. And voila! I can see you. Now I'll be able to use some of my old-fashioned healing techniques on you. Alright, let's cure this tummy ache. Are you ready? HA! Hmm, that should do it. Now how are you feeling? Oh hey, it's gone! The pain's gone! Tee <laughs> Piece of cake. Back in the old days, we didn't have any medicine. So many dogs came to me for help. I healed them one by one. Just like I did now. But now they say my ways are too old fashioned or just voodoo or superstition. So now I don't see any patients I see many patients nowadays. But now, well there's nothing I can do about it. After all my reputation went down the tubes when I couldn't help cure a certain dog. It was that doctor's best friend. Anyways you should go back to Pumpsville and rest for a while. If you need anything just come back okay? I did talk about my dog's dad, who went to Dog Island to find a cure, and... Oh no. This is just making me feel all kinds of bad. 
Alright, well... At least we cured that sickness that, you know, Beyond randomly got. So... Good? I think? We're gonna have to find some white flower, aren't we? Yeah, time to find some white flowers. Ah, shit, what's this? What's up, Francis? Hmm, now where has Dr. Potan gone to? Oh, hi, Her Majesty, how are you? Maybe you can help me here. Please, hear me out. Okay. <sighs> Every month on the same day, Dr. Potan goes out somewhere. Without telling me where he's going. If anything happens to him. Oh, I can't imagine. Her Majesty, please help me. Did you find out where he goes to and what he does out there? Someone saw him over by Zumi Lake. Okay, I'm curious. Let's go check this out. I don't think that Dr. has come through here. Why are you preventing me from going that way? Why'd I have to go through the long way? Like, what the fuck? Oh, it's because I have a cutscene, isn't it? Okay. That's stupid. Why do I have to go through this way just because it's longer? Just because I have a cutscene for this. That's weird. Hey, what's up with this guy? What's up, Vilu? Hmm, I can sense you learn new smells. I shall raise your level. Ah, oh, sweet! This shit looks cool! You've gained a level! Sweet. For the next level, you must learn 21 new smells. Well, let me find out what you see with my sniffing. Hmm. The smell is coming from Zumi Lake. Rest is up to you. Think of it as a part of your training. Okay. Whatever. Not the worst thing ever. That is a puppy running by some snakes. I'm gonna save Dr. Potam from whatever it takes. Does that make sense? Okay. It's just showing me walk him walking the normal way. The hell game. Okay. Now it's making me go through another cutscene. Hmm. Let's see what this shit's all about. Okay, Her Majesty, let's go to Zumi Lake. Let's see what the hell's going on with Dr. Potan. Who's grave? Shit. Looks like you gotta swim to go any further. Use the L and tap. Okay. I gotta swim? You mean I gotta do the doggy paddle? Also, where are these? Hey, what's up, you little birds? Hey! Oh! <laughs> You're adorable. Is that a crocodile? Why are they chasing me this way?
What the fuck? What the? Jeez, that startled me. All right, well. <sighs> okay. I got a paddle. Ah, doggy paddle. Come on. Yes. I narrowly avoided the freaking alligators. So how do I get to where I'm supposed to go? Oh. I just hop shit like this. Cool. So how do I get over there then? I'm a dog jumping from place to place. Oh, I can't jump. Okay. Did I break the game a little bit there? It's a little weird. I'm sniffing and just freaking swimming. Oh, cool! I got a watermelon! That's a smiley face! That's awesome. Okay. So now I gotta avoid that little alligator. Come on, swim faster, puppy! Swim faster! Don't let the alligator get you! Okay. What the hell is this shit about, Dr. Potan? Why'd you make me swim all the way out here? <clears throat> Her Majesty, is that you? Did you just give me a second? Oh. So what brings you here? Something I can do for you? Oh, I get it. Someone sent you to find me, right? I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of folk in town are suspicious of me. You wondering what this is? Alright. Maybe it's time I get this off my chest once and for all. This is the resting place of a very dear friend of mine. She died on this very day a long time ago, of course. Back when I was young, my best friend was sick with a disease that couldn't be cured. I tried everything I could, but she never got any better. Instead, she only seemed to get worse. One day, Obaba, the shaman, paid me a visit. She said that my treatments would never cure her and would only worsen her condition. But I was young and foolish. I was a foolish puppy. I didn't listen to Obaba. And as a result, I lost my dearest friend. I was a fool letting my pride get in the way. In treating a patient, it doesn't matter what type of treatments you use. It's not who treats whom. The only thing that matters is saving the patient in any possible way. But I learned that lesson too late to save my friend. There is no way to undo my mistake. No way at all. Even now, I still see her in my dreams sometimes. My dear friend stands there and stares at me sadly. I always thought she was angry with me for not saving her. But recently I started to think. She looks sad because instead of looking forward, I keep living in the past and I live in sadness every day. Maybe she feels pity for me. Seeing a young lass like yourself. Especially when I see a young girl like you. Save your sibling from a disease makes me think that maybe it's time for me to move on with my life and do something positive. Hmm. Poor puppy. Could you, could you give me a moment alone, please? Alright. Okay. Sad puppies. Oh, did you find the doctor? You explained the situation. Oh my, I didn't know. Is that so? Well, thank you for telling me. 
By the way, someone with the strange round hat was looking for you. Oh, great. He wanted to know where you are and what you are doing. He kept calling himself the Great One. He was pretty bossy. He headed towards the Green Meadows after he asked me about you. Hey, maybe it's Zilu. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, with all that puppy drama on the mind, um, I think it's a good, I think this is a good point to hold off for a bit. So, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Keep being awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! Sad puppies.